Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Got a stamp a stack for you today. This is video number one in a series of three. This is our card today. Oh, it's cute. I think this is my favorite one of the stamp a stack. You're totally loved. We're gonna make this card. I'm gonna make one, but I wanted to show you the stamp a stack class packet. Now I have these in the kitchen table stamper store while supplies last. It's KitchenTableStamper.com slash shop. And in this packet, You'll find all the materials that you need to make seven cards. Now, I don't emboss the backgrounds for you. I don't do any of the stamping for you, but everything else with some extras to play with are in this packet. So check out the store if you're interested in following along. Today's card is this one, and our stamp -a stack makes three of this turtley loved. This is video number one. In video number two, we're going to make this. It's time to celebrate. Show a break. Isn't that cute? That's video number two. And the stamp stack makes two of this design. And then in video number three, we're gonna make your turtley loved again. But look at this little dude. And the stamp stack makes two of this card. All right, so let's get started here. I wanna show you the packet. I'm not gonna use the packet because I already started my packet. And I made all of these cards with the Badger Besties stamp set. So my packet is well used. I want to show you a brand new one so you can see what you're going to get if you do the stamp stack. Now this is usual for my stamp stacks. We do these monthly pretty much. Um, I always label the bag first of all with the name of the class and what month and year you'll find that in. So the In Bloom stamp stack was in July of 2021. We had to move it from May. So it's in July. I linked it together with the Badger Besties Turtle Friends, um, October 2021. So the purpose of the label is that you can go back to the blog, kitchentablestamper.com and find the class. Cause sometimes let's face it, these packets, um, sit for a little while before you do them. So that's the first thing we bag it clear. We pack it nicely. We label what it is and where, what month and year you'll find it on the blog because the class is free on the blog. The packet is optional. Now this was in bloom stamp a stack from July of 2021 and we've adapted it for the turtle fronts. So there's going to be a couple of die cuts right at the front that'll help you adapt your in bloom kit to turtle and friends. Now, if you still want to do it in bloom, those videos will all be linked below to the posts where you can find them. You get a portion of the denim ribbon. This is coming back by the way. I just got a new roll of it with my on-stage pre-order. The opal rounds, and you get more than you need. You have plenty to play with. You get a quarter package of the Paper Blooms Designer Series paper. We're gonna cut two pieces of this according to the Wonder Recipe number seven. So I pulled out my Wonder Recipe and the two pieces that we're gonna cut. When you're doing the set of seven cards, you need to cut four pieces, a pattern A and a pattern B, two of each. And then you'll also need to use some of the B-side patterns or the other patterns to layer behind your turtles. You'll see. When you get a kitchen table stamper class packet, you get all of your card bases scored for you in the envelope. And then in the envelope, you'll find the die cutting. We do the die cutting for you from cardstock, but we don't do it from designer series paper. So you're going to cut your own designer series paper pieces. You're going to do your own embossing and stamping. You also need to provide your adhesive, scissors, and bone folder. All right, so there's two each of this card, two each of this card, and two each of this card. Now this is, we're adapting this one for Turtle and Friends. This is actually the card kit that we're going to use today. For In Bloom, you needed these pieces. We're going to leave them in there in case you decide to do it in Bloom. But we're going to add this piece to that kit instead. So just swap those out and use these for another project. But there's three of that card kit. And then you get your card stock because you're going to see me do some die cutting with the Pierce Blooms for um, these little embellishment pieces. So you're going to get the Rococo Rose, Seaside Spray, Night of Navy, Half Sheets, Soft Sea Foam for your Turtles, White for your Badgers. You're going to get Petal Pink Olive for your Leaves. And those are all there for you to do your die cutting for your in bloom, your pierced blooms, or you can substitute those flowers for something else you have. The pierced blooms die set is awesome. I'll show you that in a minute. And then, oh, that's just a thank you card. So that's what the kit is like. If you're, if you've never gotten a class packet from me before. So we're going to take one of those card bases, one of those 
labels from the front of the kit. And then for our designer series paper, we have two sheets that we're gonna cut according to Wanda recipe number seven. So these are pattern A, pattern B, and this is the Wonder recipe we're gonna cut. And then I also have a circle that I cut from another pattern. So a third pattern, a pattern C, if you will. I used layering circles to cut this, and it is the two and five eighths inch circle. All right, let's go ahead and cut our designer series paper, and then we'll emboss our background. So the designer series paper, you can just watch the direction of the stripe. If you've got a directional paper, you always want to watch the direction. I want my stripes to go horizontal. So we're going to cut this at three inches for the window recipe. And I'm doing both sheets at one time. Your Stampin' Up! trimmer can handle it. Then we're going to rotate a quarter of a turn and then cut at four inches. And then I like to drop these little pieces right onto my diagram and just put them aside. Then I deal out all the pieces. When I'm doing a stamp -a stack, I do all the designer series paper cutting. Then I do all the backgrounds. Then I cut or stamp and cut all my focal images. So if we're doing seven cards in the stamp -a stack, I do it a little different for the videos than I do when I'm actually making a stamp -a stack. We're gonna do all of the batch work. We've got our card base here, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and it is soft sea foam. If you're cutting your own kit, all the measurements will be on the project sheet, and the project sheet will be on the blog. Um, KitchenTableStamper.com is the blog, but I'll link you to the exact post underneath the video if you're watching on YouTube. We're going to put a little macrame texture on our card base. So we need our Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine, number one and number four. So the four is this gray embossing plate. And I'm using this awesome 3D macrame folder. I love this thing, especially with the turtles and the badgers. I don't know why it works so well. It just does. Sometimes you just find a happy little... I don't know, happy little accident, I guess. I'm gonna emboss the front of the card, so we're gonna lay it in. I'm gonna put the back of the card through the machine first. Really be careful to square this up so that the edge is not hanging over anywhere. If it's hanging over and it rubs against the side of the machine here, it will shear off the edge of the folder or the fold of the folder, so really square it up first. Then give it a little push and crank. Wait till you see this, it's so gorgeous. Do you see that? Maybe it's because of the turtle shell. It's kind of re reminiscent of a, of a tortoise shell. All right, we've got our designer series paper over here in our grid. And for this card, we need one of these. And for this card, we need one of these and one of these. So pattern B is the bigger one. Pattern A is the smaller one. And we're gonna glue all this to the card front. I'm gonna glue pattern C, my circle, right on in the center. This is the swoopy square. It's the largest one. We die cut it for you if you're getting this kit, but let me show you in case you're cutting your own. This is one of my favorite die sets and primarily for the swoopy squares. This is that largest one. It's Hippo and Friends. Now the designer series paper, of course you could do this any way you want to do it. Crafty girls do what they want and there's lots of choices in this uh, paper pack. I'm gonna glue our old olive one at a little angle and then our multicolor floral at kind of the opposing angle, a little bit lower. And then our swoopy square goes almost centered. Now, you'll notice that I left kind of the corners here, especially a little bit free of glue. I'm just going to drop this right on. But the next step is our ribbon, and I want to be able to kind of slide it up underneath the label a little bit. So let's grab some ribbon from the kit. I love this denim ribbon. We're going to make a little loop of it and tuck it, and I can't wait to show you how I... Do this so you get this kind of lay flat bow and I use a little tear and tape to help me along 
we're going to take our ribbon and fold toward us. So here's the tail and you float, fold back and toward you and then back and away. And then once you've got that kind of basic shape that those loops, you're going to grab the center and just arrange your tails so that they come down and your loops so that they go up. And then you want to audition the size of it. Mine's a little big, so I'm going to make it a little smaller. You can make it a little smaller just by pulling that back loop a little bit smaller and then adjusting where you're holding center. All right, when you got a size that you like, then you can take your tear and tape and like you would have that center knot in a bow, you're gonna just wrap a little bit of tear and tape around and then tear. So now all of our loops are holding steady. Let's go ahead and remove the liner from the tape. We can secure all the way around. And then we're gonna lift the corner of our label where we left just a little bit of room for the glue. And we're gonna put that loop in where we want it. And keep in mind that your little flower spray is gonna go over this so that adhesive will get covered. Now you've got all the kind of effects of a bow and you didn't have to tie a bow and you don't have the bulk of a knot. So just a fun little ribbon tip. We're gonna use that one on card number three also. All right, we're getting there. Let's do some stamping and meet the star of the show, shall we? I need a stamp and pierce mat. Turtle and Friends is a photopolymer stamp set, so we want a stamp and pierce mat. You can bundle Turtle and Friends with the Turtle Punch. Now this is, keeps going back and forth on back order, and right now it is on back order again. Um, but it's a really, really cute little bundle, and when you buy them together, you save 10%. And we're gonna stamp with Old Olive and Knight of Navy. So in the kit, you got all these cardstock pieces. This is kind of my used kit, but we're gonna do some um, soft sea foam here. We're gonna pay attention to the orientation of our turtle. So he's gonna to have to go legs down and facing off there to the left, you see. We're going to put it in the bottom corner of our cardstock. If you pay just a little bit of attention and plan your stamping using the punch, you'll save yourself a lot of, um, useless scraps and heartache trying to line up an image into a punch that just won't give. <laughs> Look at our little turtle, isn't he cute? Oh, there's something on his nose. Let me clean it off, like a little adhesive or something. We're gonna stamp him again. I want a clean nose turtle. And then his shell, he has a separate stamp. We're gonna take our mini grid paper here and in ink, stamp off, and then Oh, I think there's something on this one too. Do you see it made a little impression there? So ink, stamp off, and then fill in the shell. I love this two-step stamping. That means no coloring. Sometimes it's nice to make a card with no coloring. Cute, right? Now well, let's give him a punch. See how easy he lines up because we paid attention in the first place to which way to stamp him and planned where. Now for our sentiment, because we're using the so your totally love your turtly loved image, got some seaside spray in the kit. We're gonna cut off a half inch, and this is a half inch by about four and a quarter. Your turtly loved. We want it just a little bit to the right because the flowers are gonna go over on the left of our banner a little bit. <laughs> I just think that's so funny. You are turtly loved. I love anything punny, and that borders punny. That's cute. All right, well, we've got a clear space. Let me introduce you to, if Turtle Friends is the star of the show, let me introduce you to our supporting role. This is the Pierced Blooms dies, and this is the focus of the original in Bloom stamp -a stack It's an awesome set of floral. There's a beautiful label, a double bow, Lots of small flowers that are great for those paper embellishments. Those paper embellishments are the thing that don't add any expense to your card because you just use scraps. They don't add any bulk to your card because they're just a little bit of paper. And they save you 
um, postage because they don't add any weight to your card either. So this is a really good wingman set. This set will make everything that you have look new again as you add some cute little flower embellishments. So we're going to take each of these. And before we start our stamp a stack, we're going to take the colored pieces from the kit and cut each of these little flowers in all of the supporting colors. So I went ahead and I did that already. I've got some from the Rococo Rose, the Seaside Spray. These are previous in colors. There's a couple of these um, ribbons still on the um, clearance rack. I've got Night of Navy and Petal Pink. And then I've got the leaves in Old Olive. But we're gonna cut just a couple. So when you're working a stamp a stack, I had already said you're gonna emboss all your backgrounds and stamp and punch all your turtles and just kind of work all your cards in a batch. So the same way that you're working those um, aspects in a batch, you're gonna do these two. So I'm gonna line up as many as I can all at one time here. I'm gonna put my leaves, I'm gonna put all these little flowers, I'm gonna arrange them kind of close and give them a crank. And what I would do is just keep running the leaves and then run the flowers, the mix and match pieces for the flowers in a different color each time. You can do this the night before you set out to do your stamp a stack. And then you have all the little pieces ready for you. And I just organize my pieces in the little clear canisters that Stampin' Up! Um, fulfills embellishments. So mine were the perennial essence floral flower centers. So I just hold on to these little containers. They make great um, little, con or they make great containers for organizing little bits. All right, so we've done our die cutting. And look at this, isn't this gorgeous? So I had lots of flowers before and I wasn't gonna get these pierced blooms when they first came out in the catalog. I thought, ah, I don't need another flower die set. And then one of my sweet customers sent me an Easter card, a little bunny, and these pierced blooms were the wingman. And I said, I do not have anything that mixes and matches so beautifully and has the little pierced detail. That was the end of that story. I went ahead and ordered it, created a stamp -a stack focused on it, and now, I'm using that same stamp -a stack today with you to make our turtly loved card. So let's make the flowers for this card. We're gonna keep that little leaf we just cut. We need that one. And then I'm going to just pick and choose the ones that I want. And I'm gonna follow my sample exactly because I like the way it turned out. So I'm gonna just pick out the bloom and then some flower centers. Look at this little spiky one. I like this little spiky one. And then the circle center that has a little piercing in it. I love that contrast. There's a little one, little scallopy one. I call it a snowflake. It kind of looks like a teeny little snowflake, especially if you cut it in white and put this little opal on it. And then a seaside spray, this little pom-pom flower. I'm gonna do one more little five petal, this guy right here. Isn't that cute? All right, let's glue those. We're gonna use some liquid glue. All right, a little liquid glue, just a dab to put these two flowers together. Just layer them up. And then we're gonna get some dimensionals for our turtle, the star of the show, and for some of these flowers too. Got one of the sprouts that we just cut for this little flower off to the side there. When you're Die cut gets stuck in the die. You can take a little piece of painter's tape or washi tape or something low tack. Just stick it to the back and pull. I'll get that guy right out. No need to poke at it with a sharp object. All right, I got Stampin' Dimensionals on my turtle and my largest flower. I'm gonna take our turtly loved banner and cut little dovetail ends in there. It looks pretty good. Let's slide our samples on the side so we can get to work here. I'm gonna add our turtly loved and our turtle first. They're kind of our focal. The turtly loved will go right along the bottom of our circle. And 
go off to the right just a little bit. And then turtle just above that, kind of centered in the circle. Next up is our little spiky flower because that's going to tuck right underneath the banner just a little bit. And then our sprout leaves because that's going to tuck underneath that flower just a little bit. So we want to work quickly while the glue's going to give us a little bit of time to slide. And there's our accent flowers. Now let's do this big leaf. And I'm just going to dot the glue and then kind of drag it along the stem. And our focal flower, we're not going to cover our greeting, we're careful about that. Our two accent flowers, let's get those on with some liquid glue. Ooh, they're so cute. Press everybody down. And our last step is to embellish. We've got the opal rounds here. Let me get a take your pick tool. We're going to use the big one right on the pom-pom flower here. And then a little one on what I call the snowflake flower. And then a little one on the spiky flower. I should make a chart. <laughs> there it is. That's card number one in our Turtle Friends Stampa Stack. If you have any questions about the Stampa Stack class, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. To check to see if there are class packets still available, you can buzz over to kitchentablestamper.com slash shop. In the right-hand men menu, there's going to be a filter category when you're in the store. And use that filter category to filter to class packets, and that'll make, you, make it easiest to find the packet, see if it's available. To shop Stampin' Up! 24-7, buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching.